Welcome and thank you for watching our videos. Using Abraham's knowledge, tune into Source to achieve a perfect blending with Source Energy. Recognize how much better you feel when you consider how much more power you have. Let's watch this video now. Your emotions are your indicator of what you are creating. And so, as you decide that your emotions are your best friend, and you begin to say, today, no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm doing it with, it is my dominant intent to look for things that feel good when I see them. When you see something you want and you say yes to it, you include it in your vibration. It's like saying, come to me, this thing I want. But when you see something you don't want and you shout no at it, it's like saying, come to me, this thing I do not want. When you try to push away something, it doesn't go away. All that happens is you activate it in your vibration and then you use it as your excuse to not go with who you are. So when you see something unwanted like cancer or terrorism, it causes you to ask for something better. It causes you to ask for a more peaceful world or a world where more are honored and appreciated or a world where more ideas are allowed. A world, the world that you intended, where the diversity is your strength, not your weakness. And so as you ask for that and then you continue to push against the opposite of it, you don't let yourself have that, you see. So often you, when you come together with another, usually in the beginning, you are each hoping for and looking for the best in one another. And that's a very good basis to begin because when you are looking for it, you are finding it. And so what you're actually doing is using the positive aspects of each other to be your excuse to tune yourself into who you really are. In other words, when you see something in another that makes you feel good, you have fixated on something that has caused you to become a vibrational match to the greater part of you. That's what in love is. It's being a vibrational match to who you are. But so often people want to find approval or appreciation from each other and in looking for it from each other they forget about the vibrational alignment between who they are and who they really are. So if you will let the relationship that matters most far more than all other relationships put together be the relationship between you and you. A really good thing to ask yourself on a really regular basis as you're involved in your interpersonal relationships. Let's say you're, you're looking at someone and you don't like what you see and you feel negative emotion because you've fixated on something that the source within you would never fixate on. Source within you is a lover. And when you see something that you are not loving, you're using that as your excuse to separate yourself from who you really are. And you're blaming that person. If you didn't have that, I'd feel better. And we say, that's probably true. If you were observing something that made you feel good, then it would be easy for you to be a vibrational match. But don't ask others to stand on their head so that you can tune into who you are. Tune into who you are. Let your feelings be unhurtable. Be a vibrational match to who you are and then be the lover that you truly are, you see. There are two things that we would say on a regular basis in our quest for relationships of all kinds. The first is we would begin practicing when we feel positive emotion, we would say, what is it that I'm focused upon within you that I'm using as my excuse to tune into who I really am? Such a good statement. If we're feeling negative emotion, we would say, what is it that I'm focused upon in you that I'm using as my excuse to not be who I really am? Feel the power in that. If you say, your behavior makes me feel bad, you're totally disempowered. But if you say, what is it that I'm seeing in you? I could see other things because you are a multidimensional being with many aspects. But what is it that I'm seeing in you that has me separated because I'm not seeing you as the source within me is seeing you? The other statement is just that. Anytime you feel negative emotion, stop and say, I wonder how the source within me sees you. And if you're feeling negative emotion, you can know the source within you is seeing it differently because negative emotion is your indicator that you're looking at something differently from who you really are. And it always means you've stepped back from who you are. It always means you're not up to speed with who you are. It always means you're not seeing this world in this moment through the eyes of source. You're instead seeing it through some disconnected dependent uh, vantage point where I need you to be different so that I can feel better. You are very hard on each other. You are very hard on each other as you need others to behave in certain ways. 
But when you let the relationship of all relationships be your relationship with your inner being, with the source within you, you tend to that first by practicing it all of the time. And before you know it, you'll be so tuned in, tapped in, turned on that you will see only positive aspects in others. There are so many wonderful relationships to be experienced. And when you get tuned into who you are first, and then you begin to move through your day looking for the best in others before you know it you'll be so tuned to the best in others and in the world that it will be a really rare experience when someone bumps up against you who's not a vibrational match to that well-being you have control over the behavior of all others as it relates to you because you are evoking from everyone where your vibration is about them so if you train your vibration into the best of them, then they must give it to you. That's what positive expectation is. That's what true upliftment is. Getting tuned into who they really are, you see. When you say that you have found that you can be emotionally available, we want to encourage you to, be, to decide to be only emotionally available to the source within you. And then ask everyone who is your lover to rendezvous with you at that level. If you've decided to only be emotionally available to the source within you so that now the fullness of who you are is holding that other person as your object of attention. Right. Now in that complete alignment with source, you are just flooding love to you and through you and all over them. And how they are accepting it and what they're reflecting back becomes irrelevant but if you don't take the time to do that you see that addiction that you were talking about is when you hold someone as your object of attention and you were you are so right it does feel so good but then if they turn their attention away from you which they must do because there are other things that they need to do and other people that they want to talk to so when they turn their attention away if you've become dependent upon them to be the source of this energy now you're like a puppet that someone has let go of the strength you so you're so you're wanting to make sure that the source of your flow the source of your alignment the source of your love is is your own connection with who you are then you never get depleted it's why we call it source it's you because you've looked for love in all the right places finally it's you because you're looking for that connection you're coming to that alignment it's you because you took the time to make sure that it is all of you and that makes what you're getting back from another irrelevant to that but because of law of attraction once you're there you must attract someone who has the capacity to do the same every single subject whether it's sexuality or a conversation or building a piece of furniture every in every interaction you can do it from inside the vortex or outside the vortex right. and anything that you do from inside the vortex is always infinitely more satisfying than if you do it from outside the vortex so sexuality is one of those subjects like religion or like God where so many people are hung up about it because they have all kinds of ways that they've been thinking about it that weren't conducive to aligning them with source energy there are a lot of people that have been condemning sex or particular kinds of sex or sexuality in and of itself in so many ways that just the engaging in it makes them feel less than connected we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes is that we would start building this emotional grid that says I'm going to maintain my spiritual frequency and I'm going to ask the universe to deliver to me a sexual partner that will meet me on those spiritual terms where you don't lose yourself yeah. because and isn't it always whether it's a conversation or a sexual engagement isn't it always losing yourself when you're willing to come exactly. to meet another partner yeah so a little sometimes it's about because the whole sexual game and the whole sexual attraction has a whole other set of rules it sort of it sort of falls into the category of, of the way most people do most of their creating and so you just have to omit that from your vibrational frequency long enough that the partner that comes to you doesn't have it either or you could just say to yourself I'm no longer emotionally available to anyone who's not in the vicinity of my emotion the only reason that you could ever have negative emotion is because your inner being won't be emotionally available to you unless you're up to speed in other words your inner being is stubborn join us or don't but we're not coming there thank you for stopping by to watch this video
Make sure to subscribe for the next video.